Hello, yours truly the cat protector here from Cat Galaxy, and this is In the Cat's Eyes, and we're getting ready for Tales of the Season, which is coming up November 12th, and with me right now are a couple guests here. We've got Lorena Lopez from mm -hmm. Arizona Cattle Dog Rescue, Hi. and who, who, uh, who And this is Harley. Us? All right, this Harley. This is Harley. So, tell us a little bit about the breed, because I... <laughs> I'm a cat person, mm -hmm. but hey, you know, there's a lot of people who probably don't know about the breed. The breed um, is, uh, they, they were bred to move cows in the Australian cows in the Australian outback. So they're a mix of different, um, a few different breeds, some wild, some domestic, mostly dingo, uh, the smooth coat collie, kelpie, and Dalmatian. I gotta hand it to you. I mean, it's great to have Arizona Cattle Dog mm -hmm. Rescue out at this event. And uh, so, is he, are we going to be seeing him out at the event? Or is yeah. He, well, uh, if he if he's not adopted today, yeah. he, he will be uh, definitely be out at the event. Um, Harley is a great example of the Australian cattle dog. They are very devoted to their people. We call them Velcro dogs because they like to be with you twenty four seven. And uh, he is very intelligent and smart. Harley is an older guy, so he slowed down a bit. They can be very high energy dogs in their younger years. But Harley is now about six or seven, so um, he has every wonderful attribute of, of a healer, except for uh, the energy has been toned down a bit, so he'd be perfect for uh, someone that uh, loves the breed, just doesn't have quite the energy that they can have sometimes. So. Do you get a lot of people that see these dogs in the sci-fi movies, you know, the yeah. World Warrior, they had, you know... Yeah, or they, they see them as good truck yeah. dogs on the job sites or out at the farms, and they see that really good dog that sits in the truck and listens to his owner and protects everything, And um, but they didn't see the first two to five years that it took to get that dog that way. They can be kind of a handful when they're younger, um, but uh, they're well worth it. They the devotion and the intelligence that they give back to you. Uh, you know, I, I say that if they had thumbs, they could drive. So uh, they're just about the smartest breed out there in my book. Now, are they cat friendly? Are some of um, them cat friendly? Yes, um, just like any dog, they can be cat friendly. They can be taught to uh, cohabitate with a cat, to even enjoy a cat's presence. Harley is one that cannot. <laughs> so he's not a cat yes. lover, right? He is not a cat lover, no. No. Bad experience there, Harley? Uh, well, the the more for the cat than the than Harley. He's He thinks they're food. They <laughs> seem to be really well-behaved dogs. They can be. Again, if you put in the time and the energy um, with the dog, with, the, with any dog, but especially with this breed, uh, you have to... They were bred to be control freaks because they had to move one of the biggest, hardest beasts on the earth, and that was the Australian cow. So you yourself have to be a bit of a control freak to be able to challenge them. Um, and to uh, you know, give them fulfillment. We don't have cows that we can chase now, but we can go on. Uh, we walk two two uh, two miles a day with them. We go on trails. I ask them to jump up on things and to wait at gates, and then and then walk away, and then they come. And I ask them to use their brain every day for several different things, and we make it part of our day, and it's fun for the both of us. So they need regular exercise. They do. They so. do. Any dog needs regular exercise, but especially this breed. At least I've. You know, I if I got a cattle dog, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I've got cats. They get me to do the exercises. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. <laughs> is there any way to get the cattle dog to do it for me? To, to, to do the <laughs> to do the exercising <laughs> for me? Yeah, they might. I I have some that run on treadmills, um, but uh, obviously my dogs running on treadmills hasn't helped me out very much either. So. <laughs> yeah, and and you're going to be out of tails of the season. This is we the first. Are. This is the first annual event mm -hmm. for us. Um, what do you? What are you hoping to get out of Tales of the Season? Well, we're hoping to get some more exposure. Uh, we're a fairly new group. We just celebrated our first year anniversary in September. Well, congratulations. Yes, on that. thank you. And we had a very successful year. Um, we hope to, of course, get some adoptions. And if anything, any of these events that we go to, we just love to educate people about the breed. There's a lot of misconceptions about the breed. And uh, so we like to educate them about them. And, and uh, you know, get them forever homes. Now, do you just, you personally have just cattle dogs? Just cattle dogs? Or do you, or do you have other I have animals? a menagerie. Oh, so do you have cats? I do have a cat. You do yes. have a cat. Yes. Now, the cat runs the place, right? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> he runs the front yard and the dogs run the backyard. <laughs> well, he, he's organized so, them. Yes. So he's, he's, he, yes. he does run things. He's yes. just organized them it a is. little bit. It is. Yep. He has his own. They have theirs. 
Um, but yes, I have uh, I have everything from a very small Brussels Griffon to a 75 pound lethal white. And the Brussels Griffin recipe mm -hmm. is actually going to be there. Yes, good, and, uh, good. I'm good friends with Dee, the, yeah. the leader of that one. They yeah. are having, you know, there's going to be a lot of animal rescue groups, you know, including yours. And mm -hmm. it's great to see your organization a part of it, especially after celebrating one year, because yeah. it's the first annual Tales of the Season. Well, we are looking for, we, we are very thankful that you've asked us to be a part of it, and we are looking forward to a phenomenal Tales of the Season. Um, we'll, and, uh, coming back every year afterwards yeah see normally i don't pet the dogs but he seems okay if he yeah. if he's not cat friendly uh-huh he's, he's, he he's, he's people okay. friendly he's getting okay with me well yeah because you know it we are getting towards halloween and mm -hmm. obviously uh i'm a cat dressed as a human yeah so i obviously <laughs> fooled the dog <laughs> a little bit yeah. so i well it's great to have you here Thank and you. uh you know this is the franciscan event and you know now with tales of the season coming uh, do you adopt a lot of animals out during the holiday season is that a good season for you well that, yes and no we do encourage people to um, you know with, with the holidays uh, people think that's a great time to get oh everybody wants to have a puppy under the tree but then they don't look forward to the other holidays many many years down the road that they're gonna have that dog so sometimes the holidays can be um, a, a bit um, of a challenge just to find out why people are adopting at that time. Um, and then it is sometimes a harder time for the dog to come home that week of Christmas when the in-laws are there and all the kids are running around and there's a, there's a tree in the house that they want to pee on and they can't. And it can be very confusing for the dog. So, um, you know, we would encourage people to really uh, um, research uh, what kind of dog they want, go to rescues, go to the shelters, you know, figure out what you want, and then maybe get that dog a few weeks before all of the chaos because it'll be easier on you and the dog. So if you people are interested in Arizona Cattle Dog mm -hmm. Rescue, you got information? Yeah, you, you can go can to ArizonaCattleDogRescue.com, or I'm sorry, dot .org, O-R-G. Uh, we do have a full-fledged website. There's applications on there for, um, we're always in need of foster homes so that we can help save even more of the dogs. Um, and then you can also fill out and submit adoption applications on there. You can also find us on uh, petfinder.com under Arizona Cattle Dog Rescue. And, and, and on our Facebook page too, you can follow us. And you are on, you're on Twitter? We are not, not on, Twitter. on Twitter. We're well, not, yeah. And there is information. We do have a link from our website at, oh, at uh, www.talesoftheseason.com. Okay. So you're going to find some. Uh, you're going to find a link to them uh, on the web. So we'll see you at Tales of the Season, and we'll see you next time on In the Cat's Eyes. Thank you.